Hello everyone, welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I'm Kishore and I'm here to solve a classic Sudoku created by Riff Clown. The title of the Sudoku is Spectacle and it has been taken from the CDC Discord server. It has been quite a while since we covered a video on a classic Sudoku created by Riff Clown and I'm happy to uh, do one such Sudoku. Uh, the link to solve this is in the description of the video. I'm going to give it a try now. 2, 4, 6, 9 and 1 and 5. So that gives a 1 and 5 in these three cells. And by the way, this is a live solve. So I don't have any idea of how this Sudoku is going to proceed. So starting with the 1s, uh, 1 goes here. I don't know why I made these pencil marks at the start. That was the first thing that I saw in the Sudoku. Uh, okay. The 1 in column 7, if you notice, has to be in these two cells. And there are not much ones. In fact, there is only uh, one, a solo one in the grid. So we can't make much corners. So let's go to twos. Two is not in row seven, two is not in column seven. So that gives two in this area. And now we can place the two in box five, I think. There's only one cell left. That gives two in these three cells which I'm not inclined to mark. Okay, two in box three has three cells. Again, I don't think that is necessary to mark. Okay, let's go with the threes now. Three cannot be in row eight, three cannot be in column seven. So that gives me a three in these two cells. Okay, I need to place a corner mark. Okay, the 3 in box 5 I can place now. Can't be in row 4, can't be in row 6, cannot be in column 6. 3 goes here and that gives a 3 in these two cells. A slow and careful glance reveals that there are no more areas where I can restrict 3 to 2 cells. So I'm moving on. Maybe uh, let's look at Fours, 4 is not in column 2 and 4 is not in row 3 so that gives a 4 in one of these two cells okay so what do I do now so 4 cannot be in uh, row 8 4 cannot be in column 5 so that gives 4 in these two cells which in turn gives a 4 in these two cells okay Uh, should we move on to the next digit? I think so. So let's go to 5. There are a lot of 5's in the grid. So that should give us some data. So 5 in column 3 has only one cell left. 5 goes here. And 5 in column or rather row 7 has only one cell has to go here. And that gives 5 in box 2. So these two cells can't be a 5. I could have eliminated the 5 from here long back because of this 5 is that so 5 goes here in row 3 I think we have placed all the 5's ok let's continue 6 in uh, column 4 and 5 gives me a 6 here that gives a 4 here because 4 was in one of these 2 cells and 6 in row 2 has only one cell again goes here 6 in column 2 Column 8 has only one cell again, goes here. 6 can't be in rows 4 and 5. That gives me a 6 in these two cells. Okay, just a few more 6s. 6 cannot be in row 7 and row 9. So 6 goes here. Uh, that gives me the final 6 in the group. This seems to be a, an easy Sudoku. Until now, there is nothing special in the Sudoku, just a normal solve. So 7 in row 7 in row 9 gives me a 7 in here. But things can very quickly change as we often notice. Okay, 7 in column 8 and 9, that gives 3 uh, cells for the 7. Okay, let's go to 8. 8 can't be in uh, row 9, so 8 goes here and that gives a 7-8 locked pair in box 8. So 
that's a seven eight and the last digit in the grid must be a one uh the last digit in the box so eight in row seven has only one cell eight goes here and that gives an eight here and that allows the eight to go into these two cells eight cannot be in column eight and eight cannot be in column nine so eight goes here or here but in row seven you have an eight row three i mean so this becomes an eight that gives an eight in these two cells okay let's focus on the final digit nine nine cannot be here and nine cannot be here so that gives a nine here so nine in row one and uh, row four and row six uh, goes in these two cells and nine in row one and row two gives me a nine here so a lot of digits in the grid so let's see okay it's time to make center marking i think so let's start with uh, column three there are a lot of areas you can start i'll start with column three three six eight nine five and seven so if you notice this column four has exactly one cell left four cannot be here four cannot be here so four goes here and uh, two cannot go here so two goes here one goes here so we can complete this box five six nine one four eight this must be a uh, Two three seven, and complete in the sense. Uh, fill it up with pencil marks. So this will be three seven. And if you look at row three, this is a hidden single. It cannot be one two four six. It cannot be five or eight. It cannot be three or seven. So this has to be a nine. So I was just noticing the time. So we have. Reach this stage in close to seven, eight minutes. So this is a three or a seven. Okay, two, five, six, nine, three, seven. Uh, so we need one, four, eight. This would be one or four. This would be one, four, eight. And this would be one, four, eight. And one, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need two, three, and nine. So this is two, three, two, three, nine. And this is also two three nine. So this is not a two or a nine. So that's a three. That gives a two here. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, made some mistake here. So you can't have a two in these two cells, which means for row nine. So this will be a two. That gives a three nine pair in here. And because of this nine, I can place my nine in here. And a three in here. That gives a one in here. A four in here. One in here, a two seven. This is a two, and that is a seven, right? That gives a three, a seven, a two, a three, one three five six eight nine. So we need two four seven here. We can't have two and four, so that's a seven. And two is in column nine, so that's a two. That's a four. Two, four, five, eight, three, six, and nine. So we need one and seven. One cannot be in column five, so one goes here. One, seven, and I need three, eight. So this is three, and that is eight. And this seven resolves the seven, eight pair. So that's a seven. That's an eight. Two, six, nine, three, and five. So I need one, four, seven, and eight. I can't have eight here, so eight goes here. And seven is in these two cells, row four and row six. So that gives us seven in here. Four cannot be in row six, so four goes here. One goes here. Eight goes here. This is actually a very easy sudoku. Uh, two, five, six, three, seven, eight. So we need one, four, and nine. Four cannot be in column nine, so four goes here. Nine is not in row four, so nine goes here. One goes here. Four, six, seven, eight. One, two, and five. So I need three and nine. So nine cannot be in row seven, so nine goes here. Three goes here, and one goes here, and four goes here. With that, we have completed this Sudoku by a Rift Clown. So I'm actually thinking about uh, making another video uh, together with this because it's only 10 minutes. Let me just have a look at Discord to see if we have some Sudokus that we can do there. Maybe just a second, bear with me. Let's see if we can quickly select a Sudoku that we can do. Classic preferably.
a gas classic, uh, meaning a genuinely approachable classic that we can quickly uh, do it do in a few minutes. Just a second, I'm just crawling down. Please wait with me. A lot of Sudoku's there are worth trying. Okay, I'm coming across the leaf beetle which I did uh, recently. Okay, there are a lot of variants, but okay, none, no classic. Okay, there is one. Uh, Sudoku by Noswald. So perhaps we can try that now. Uh, I'll just open it up. Nef puzzles. So this Sudoku is called uh, Domino Effect and it is created by Noswald. Right? So what I'm going to do, I'll just uh, change the uh, text now. So it is going to be Noswald. So from uh, the tenth minute of this video, around the tenth minute actually, you'll see a change in the title and the uh, video author. So just a second, it is called Domino Effect, right? So let me change the title to that. Domino Effect. Okay. Apparently, this is the first Sudoku created by the author. So we are going to see how it is uh, going to solve. Okay, let me display this a bit and this a bit. Okay, fine. So I lock the window and we are ready to solve this Sudoku created by uh, Noswald. So let's see now. Start with the uh, once I usually try to go in order because that is really nice, right? To have a, an orderly approach. But generally in classics, I don't solve that way. But for the sake of the video, I'm solving. So let's use an unorderly approach for this Sudoku maybe. Uh, that is, let's start with twos perhaps. Two in column five goes in these two cells. Two in row eight goes in here. Two in column three goes in here. Very nice. Uh, here two in row four goes in here. So any more twos? Nope. I'm noticing a four that we can place in row nine. Four goes here. And four in uh, column four goes into these two cells. Okay, there are no more areas that are worth marking. So 5 in row 3 goes in here. 5 in column 3 goes into this domino. So I wonder if the uh, title uh, domino effect is there for a reason. We will get to see that 9 is in column 8 and 9. That gives a 9 here. So 8 is in row 8 and row 9, so 8 goes here. Three is in uh, column four and column five and six, so that gives a three here, which means I have a three four pair now. I'm going to replace that with a three four pair. So quickly looking at the threes, three in box four has only two cells, three has to go here. Okay, the 7 in box 2 has only 2 cells again. 7 goes here. And this has to be 1 or a 9. A center marking because it has only 2 cells or uh, 2 candidates. So I just marked in there. The 7 in uh, row 7 has again 2 cells left. 7 goes here. 
uh, I'm seeing that the nines have only two cells in box uh, five. Nine goes here. So I'm quietly confident that there are no more corner markings that we can make. Okay, perhaps seven. Seven in column one has only two cells left. It can go here. Okay, let's uh, do the center marking now. I'll start with box nine, two, three, seven, four, five. So we need one, six, eight, and nine. This is going to be a one, six, and eight. Okay, this will be six, eight, and nine. And this will be one, eight, nine. Okay, this is nice. So in column four, if you see seven cannot be uh, in here because of these seven. So seven goes here. And now I can make a center candidate here. Cannot be one, two, three, four. Cannot be seven, eight, or a nine. This has to be five and six. And if you look at these two cells, this domino, it cannot be one, two, three, eight, nine. So it would be four, five, six, and seven. Five is also eliminated. So four, six, and seven. And this is not a seven. This is four or six. And look at these two cells. So I think that's why it's named domino effect. We are looking at two cells and uh, writing the candidates in there, or maybe there is a different reason. I'm not sure. One, eight, nine, and two, and four and six. So these two cells are three, five, seven. So this cell cannot be six, eight, nine, one, five, seven. That's two, three, four. And look at this cell, row seven, column nine, cannot be one, seven, nine, cannot be two, three, four. So this is five, six, and eight. And look at these two cells. Six digits are eliminated uh, straight. Three, four, seven, nine, one, and two. So these would be five, six, eight. Okay, this cell cannot be two, three, four, six, five, eight. So one, seven, nine. Nine is also not possible. One and seven. Okay, I'm looking at row three now. I'm seeing that these two cells cannot be five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four. So this is three, four, and this is one or two. Okay, column two maybe now. Uh, one, two, five, seven, four, nine. So this is three, six, eight. So this is loaded with pencil marks. What am I missing here? I'm looking at this cell, cannot be 2, 4, 5, 3 and 7 and 6. So this is 1, 8 and 9. And look at this cell, uh, cannot be 2, 3, 4, 7, cannot be 8 and 9. This is 1, 5 and 6. Ah, I'm seeing that I missed this uh, corner marking here. So eight must go in these two cells. And now we can notice that eight cannot be in here. So eight goes in these two cells. And if I look at this cell now, it cannot be two, three, four, seven, eight, 
1 and 5. So it is 6 and 9. So almost got a digit there. Okay, I'm seeing here now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 and 9 are eliminated. So this is 5, 6 and 7. Let me quickly take a look at the duration of the video. It's 20 minutes. Ah, why am I noticing this pair so late? So 6, 8, 9, 3 and 4. So 1, 2, 5, 7. Okay, it's actually not doing much here. Not much here, but I'm seeing that the 9 in this column has only 2 cells left. So maybe that's something to remember. Okay, look at this cell. It cannot be 2, 4, 5. It cannot be 3, 7, 8 or a 9. So this is 1 or a 6, marking that. Okay, careful look along this column. Column 8 reveals that this cell uh, cannot be 1, 3, 8, 9, 2, 4. So that's 5, 6, and 7. So 2 and 4 are in this area, right? It doesn't seem to be an easy Sudoku. Now trying to give a good hard look because there are too many uh, markings we have made already which may not be needed actually. Okay, this, this cell, it has to be 6, 8 and 9. Ah, kind of clueless here now. I'm seeing that both of these cells are going to be same. So that means it has to be somewhere here. But it's actually not giving me something. Hmm. This is hard. Ah, I have made a 7 here. So this is not a 7, right? So this is not a 7. I should have done that earlier. So this becomes a 5-6 pair, which is good. 4-5-6-8 uh, and 3. So we need 1-2-7 and 9. So this is 1 and 9. You can't have 2 or you can't have 7. That's really good now. So look at the, these four cells. We have a quadruple. Fantastic, right? One, six, eight, nine, quadruple. Which means that you can't have a two or a nine here. So nine goes here. I'm sorry, you can have a two here, but you can't have a nine here. Nine is removed from that cell. So this is not a nine. This is not a nine. So again, a one, six, eight, nine, quadruple in these four cells. This becomes a five, seven pair. And because of this five, this can be resolved. That's a 5, that's a 7. And 7 is not here now, 7 goes here. Uh, so I need 1, 8, 9 along this column. So this is 8 or a 9. And I can mark a pair in here. Uh, 3, 4, 7, 1, 6, 8 and 9. So I need to place 2 and 5 here. So that uh, removes the 8 from this cell and places it here. This becomes a 2, 5 pair. And this becomes a 1, 6 pair. So 6 is not here. This cell, that leaves a 6 here in this domino, which means you have a 6 in here and 6 in here. 
So all these six cells cannot be a six. That gives a six in here and removes all the sixes from here. Superb. So that's a four. And this is not four or six, that is seven. This is not a six, this is five, eight. And uh, this is three, five, eight. Okay. Now it should be doable. Okay, these two cells I'm looking at must be a uh, one, two, and a nine. Okay, 9 goes in these two cells in box 8. That removes the 9 here. Oh, you have 8 here. So this is not, both of these cells are not 8. Ah, I got a 4 here, right? So that's a 3, that's a 4, that's a 3. And now the 3 can be placed in row 1. And okay, 3 is removed here, that gives a 3 in box 4 and 3 can be placed in column 7 now, can't be here, has to be here. If this is not 3, so you have a 5-7 pair here and now if you see where the 4 goes, 4 has to go here, so this means this will be a 2 or a 6. That gives a 5 in here and a 6 in here. That leaves 7, 8, 9 here. So this will be 7, 8 and 9. This can't be a 9. Okay, 6 gives me something. Nope. Uh, look where the 7 goes in row 2. 7 has to go here. And that leaves a 7 here and a 5 here giving a 7 in box 5, 7 goes here, so this is 8, 9 back and that gives 8 here, a 6 here, a 5 here, this is a 9, that's 1, that's 8, that's 6, that's 9, that's 1, that is 8, that is 6, that is 1, that is 6, that is 6, that's 2 and this will be 5 for the row and we can complete the column now. This will be a 1, 2 pair, so 1 goes here, 2 goes here, 2 goes here, 5 goes here, that's a 2 now, so and finish off the Sudoku, 1, 2, 9, and 1, 4, uh, 9 and 8, and with that I completed this uh, domino effect created by Noswald, oops, I have 2 more uh, digits left, sorry for that, so this is 8, that is a 9, with that I have completed this Sudoku, an excellent one, uh, the first one was very easy and this took a little bit uh, longer but this one also was uh, not so hard. Uh, th so thank you Rift Clown and Noswald for creating these Sudokus to us. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to the channel uh, and uh, hit the like button. We'll be happy to see uh, you showing your love. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.